Hello and welcome to the Wednesday preview for another week. Hayden King back joining you and very much looking forward to the spring gift on Saturday at Cannington. That's the highlight of our week, but a bit of water to go under the bridge between now and then. And firstly, we're going to look at Mandra on Friday night. And one race I've picked out is race number five, the Grade 4 Series Final. And it's an interesting race in the sense that we've got a race in two halves because we've got those two heats coming through and the first heat we'll look at all spiked up was able to lead and he beat home Robotnik and Weston Cobra who were the chief three in that heat. All Spiked Up was able to lead and he held on to win and he comes up with box number one. So if he can show similar early pace, he'll put himself up there from the outset and he'll be pretty hard to beat. Robotnik came at him late and he could get that good toe into it immediately behind him if that scenario eventuates. And then Weston Cobra, who was able to hold up on the inside last time, but his task made more difficult by box number six this week. And the other heat to look at, Weston Grit was able to lead last week. He comes up with box number seven, but I wouldn't be shocked if he was quick to offset that and zip over and put himself right up on the pace. Nice image drawn underneath him. He would have to lead to win, I think. He threatened last week, but he wasn't able to get past Weston Grit. And the interesting one is Supercharged, who ran on really hard last week, and he could get that brilliant cut across on the outside of West on Grit, and that would make him very hard to beat. So Supercharge, I think, is the big winner from the box draw. Just a case of whether he can put it all together and sit close enough to be dangerous, because we know he will be very strong. That's Mandra on Friday night. Then we'll jump over to Cannington, and here's the highlight. The spring gift and a crack field engaged, starting off with Momentum in box number one, who was able to get that room he required last week, and... Archibald didn't cross down to the inside, which made his task much easier, and he proved too classy. Comes up with box number one. I guess the only thing is Archibald is drawn immediately outside him. He probably has the pace to lead again, Archibald. It's just a case of whether he gets down to the inside, or again, he runs cover for momentum, and momentum could get that brilliant run through again, which would make him extremely hard to beat. Jimmy's decision in box number three, he was a massive run last week. He got poleaxed on that first turn and he chased home really gamely to get up and run third. So it's just a case of him sitting close enough, really. If he does and there is that trouble at the front of the field, he can be very dangerous, but his running pattern just goes against him so frequently. Yahoo Sirius was able to run second, chased strongly last week in his heat, but he was never really a threat. Amplified is the pace angle in box number five. This dog just keeps winning. Amplified, he led, which was the crucial thing last week, and I think it would be the crucial thing again. He would need to get across to be winning and beating a dog like Momentum or Vice Grip this time out, but if he can, he'll certainly be very, very hard to beat again. And then others, Gangnam Manelli, who's drawn out in six. He chased home pretty well last week. Hinto got shut out by Vice Grip at an early stage, but he still probably had his chance to finish close up. And Vice Grip, who was crossed and hindered early and slightly again off the back straight, but he chased home really hard, and I think box eight will really suit him. He could get that run around the outside, potentially getting that cover off a dog like Amplified. And Gangnam Manelli Hinto aren't the fastest beginners, so if he can put himself up there on that first turn, then Vice Grip is going to be very hard to beat. And we've seen him building into this camp pain as well so a win is not too far away and most notably I was impressed by the way he got through the line last week he looked a dog that was determined and it's good to see him back at the races after the spring gift we'll be turning over to race number seven and I thought this race was interesting for the fact there could be a couple of different scenarios eventuate this fifth grade Starting off in box number one, Weston Finn who had no luck early last week when he was fresh and he ran on really well he was close up, and with that one run under the belt after failing to finish two starts ago, I think we could see him back trending in the right direction. He was a highly promising dog early, and I think his best will be very, very hard to beat. Sunset Givenchy in box number two sat on the leader and looked the winner over the 600 last week, but 
He wasn't able to go past. Back to the 5.20, so he'll be strong at this kind of trip. Marla Penny got across early, couldn't match Starlight Gina, but was second best last week. Zeke could be the big improver because he got smashed early last week and he stuck on fairly well, all things considered. Little Miss Ava got a beautiful run across and was able to take advantage of that last time out took over down the back and was way too good this is harder though and glorious gun who is another who didn't have much luck last time out bumped around early badly checked toward the back and actually found the line pretty well all things considered so i think we could easily see improvement from glorious gun out in box number eight but west on finn is a dog i do want to follow i was impressed by that application he showed last week getting through the line and hopefully we can see him somewhere back near his best in terms of a best bet this week, I'm going to Cannington tonight, race six, number two, Bundigi. I know the price won't be a great spoil, but I think any price is a good price about a winner. This dog's been in absolutely dashing touch. Last start at Mandurah, he actually missed the start, and I thought he was in a bit of trouble, but he showed a really good amount of nous there. He was able to weave through the packet. It was a clever win, pulling away late in the piece as well. Prior to that, when he led... In his two previous starts, he bolted up. So race six, number two, Bung Digi continues to get better every time he goes out there, and I think he'll be pretty hard to beat, even at the shorts tonight. That's the Wednesday preview for this week. As I mentioned, really looking forward to the spring gift, and I look forward to joining you again next time.